happen. Hi everyone, I'm Ashley. The ingredients are posted in the info box below. Wash the shrimp under cold water. Cut off the tip of the head and cut off the legs. When you're done, the shrimp will look like this. I'm using one stem of green onion and one head of garlic. Chop up the green onions and mince the garlic like this. Usually in this dish, people use pork bellies, but I'm trying to keep the cholesterol down, so I'm using pork loin. I have about half a pound of pork loin here, and then thinly slice them like this. I want my pork to be cooked very well. Done. Now everything is ready. Let's start cooking. On high heat, add 1 tablespoon of oil and saute the garlic until fragrant, about 45 seconds. Then add in the pork. Stir the pork on high heat for about 1 minute. Then lower the heat and put the lid on and let it sit for about 3 minutes. Now after 3 minutes, give it a quick stir, then put the lid back on and let it sit for another 3 minutes. Okay, after a total of 6 minutes, we are ready to add in the shrimp. Turn your heat back on to medium high. Then add the shrimp. Give it a quick stir for about 30 seconds, then put the lid on and let it cook for 2 minutes. Okay, so after 2 minutes, give it a quick stir again, then put the lid back on again and let cook for 2 more minutes. Okay, now we are ready to add in some seasonings. salt and one teaspoon of chicken powder. Now stir to mix everything together, then put the lid on and let it cook for three minutes. Now give it a quick stir. Then we're going to add in 2 tablespoons of light corn syrup. Then stir again and put the lid back on. The reason why I keep on putting the lid on is because I don't want the, the shrimp to get too dry. And when the shrimp is too dry, they get chewy. After a minute or so, you can put the lid away. No more lid. We're done with the lid. <laughs> stir it up and um, you see how the shrimp is going to get caramelized. Then we're going to get uh, we're going to add in the green onions. Stir again for about 1 minute. Turn off the stove and it's ready to eat. We usually eat this with steamed rice. Um, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye. See you next time.